Ghana's private sector must take charge if value is to be added to the country's rural cocoa beans. That's according to Deputy Swiss Ambassador to Ghana, Mr. Matthias Feldman. Switzerland has over the years supported Ghana's economic diversification agenda with over $370 million, but the country still exports cocoa in its raw form to that European country. Ghana is Switzerland's biggest trading partner in Africa, recording $2.5 billion trade volume in 2019. Ghana is Switzerland's second most important trading partner in Africa after South Africa. In 2019, Switzerland recorded a trade volume of 2.5 billion Swiss francs with Ghana, of which gold imports to Switzerland accounted for more than 95%. Ghana also exports cocoa to the world's largest consumer and producer of chocolate, controlling the over $100 billion industry. Despite the over six-decade relationship and the continuous support from the Swiss, Ghana still exports raw beans to Switzerland. Deputy Swiss Ambassador to Ghana is urging the private sector to take the lead in value addition. A lot depends on the private sector itself and the initiative it takes. And so uh, we work a lot on the framework conditions just to make it easier for businesses uh, to um, establish themselves, to operate, and to, to be able to innovate. And, and so on these two fronts, uh, I think the, the, the creation of, of local value addition, that's very much at the heart of, of the whole diversification agenda. Briefing the media on President Akufuado's visits to the European country, the Swiss ambassador to Ghana, His Excellency Philip Stadler, noted that talks will center on the fight against climate change and how to deepen economic relations. The state visit, um, it will um, take place on Friday and Saturday. Um, we will, of course, um, have a very festive uh, program uh, for your president. Uh, but of course, we will also um, talk about uh, our bilateral relations and there we see potential uh, to boost it. Um, as I said, um, relations are excellent, are long-standing, um, and uh, still we, we see potential to boost relations, especially in, in the area of trade and investment. President Ekufado's visit to Switzerland is historic. Since 1957, he is the first president from Sub-Saharan Africa to pay a state visit to Switzerland.